Hello Excel user. Sometimes it's a really a common scenario where we have a drop down list and we need the flexibility to select multiple items in the drop down list. And if we have an option where we can select multiple items from that particular drop down list dynamically, it doesn't matter in which drop down list or data validation list, it can be any data validation list. You just need to select the cell or get the UI and select multiple item and if you can join them with multiple delimiters so let me show you a real demo that i use every day let me show you a real application in this section i want to select multiple columns and for that i do have a drop down list but if i want to select anything then it will allow me to select only one item at a time right but i want to select multiple columns and i just want to put them on a different line or i just want to concatenate them by comma in that case, we can just go into this navigator, click on this DB item selector and you can see we have multiple options. So multi-select if you want to select multiple item, if you want to select only one, then you can choose that as well. And you can just choose the delimiter like, you know, new line, character 10, comma, tab character and pipe delimiter. So these four delimiter are present at the time right now. And we have this select all, unselect all and invert selection. So let me show you. If I just want to see select all and then if I just press OK, this will put all of this data on multiple rows, right? So let's see if I just change this to comma. So get this data and this formula is filtering for those specific column data. So we have a long formula, but basically it's just pulling the data for this particular ID and for this particular columns. Now you can see if I just click on this and if I just say I need this region, city and category and then boom you can see region, city and category. I can open this again and select let's say invert selection. I don't need this in region, city and category. I just need everything else except these three column. I can do that easily like this. This is really really useful. Normally I use this whenever we need a multi-selectable drop-down list and this can work on a single select as well. So if you just want to select one item, then you can do that as well. So that's it. Let me know if you are interested on this. Have a good day. Thank you.